Welcome to All Club for the ride of the All Club 250. I'm Joe Skaskin, I'm a race. Starting on the pole is Frank Cohn, on the outside is Alex Schmidt. Third is Jacob Budd. Fourth is Eric Smith, and running our top five is Hoover. It sure be a great race here at All Club. Uh, the last time we came to All Club, we saw a huge wreck that set Hoover upside down. And that was in the Joe Rutt Fizeros League. But now we're in the Truck Series, and it's a different race. Anything can happen as we're racing at night. The Pace Truck is in. 15 laps here at All Club beside the winner of this race. Green flag is out, and we're racing here on speed. Whoa, Hoover's already bunching up into the 19 of Rob Shelley. They're going to have to be careful, though. You don't want to wreck too early. They're already four wide. As they come out, turn two. Look at that big pack as they come down the back stretch. I don't think anyone is double file. I think they're three or four wide. Ginger Lewis to the race lead. Here comes Matthew Vaughn for the race lead. Three wide. Coming to complete, coming to complete lap one. Who's going to lead the first lap here at All Club? It's not going to be Matthew Vaughn, but it's going to be Ginger Lewis with help from the 92 of Frank Cope. And the 19 of Rob Shelley is coming. Into second goes Rob Shelley. The top three have pulled away just a little bit. Look at this pack. Four wide. Samuel Smith in the middle of that. They get calmed down from what it looks like. Oh, there they go. Oh, big wreck in front of the field. Caution is displayed. Race back to the line. Rob Shelley, our race leader. Ginger Lewis up there. Don't wreck him back to the line. Jeff Smith. Oh, he backs off. Thank God. We will have had wreck. Let's see who gets back to the line first. It's going to be Nee Jolly or Rob Shelley. Rob Shelley gets back to the line first. We'll see what happened to bring out our first caution of the night. Here it is. Not what we thought. Samuel Smith. It looks like with Mason Wood. Looks like Samuel Smith gets turned by Mason Wood. Gets down to Livy. And then there goes the one, I think that is, of Daniel Cope. And then Mason Wood barely gets into that. Joe Rakowski was in it. California Girl 11 was in it. Eric Smith is going to get punted. 8675309. Tom Shelley. Ooh, 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 ooh. Brandon Smith gets nailed by Eric Smith. Wow. So a big wreck to bring out the caution. There's California Girl 11 team back there. We'll get back with pit stops on our race leaders. Here we are, Rob Shelley, our race leaders down pit road. No trucks are going to stay out here. They're all going to come down pit road. Not a surprise there. I believe it might just be fuel only for some drivers. There's Rob Shelley make his way down the long pit road. He's into his pit stall. And who's going to get out first? Rob Shelley is with Matthew Vaughn second. We'll get you back to the green flag action as soon as we can. Rob Shelley's going to lead us. Here we are. We're going to go back green. Rob Shelley, a race leader. Two trucks have retired from the race. Can Rob Shelley be the first person to win two races this season? I don't think anyone has. Livy is the lap truck sitting on pit road. Rob Shelley, I think, could be the first person to win two races this season. I don't think anyone else has. I don't think anyone has, but maybe they have. I'm not sure. Of course, this racetrack has produced a lot of great racing over 
the years we have been here. First year, Jarrett 5 0. Second year, Jarrett 5 0. They were both excellent. Remember, third year, Jarrett 5 0. First, first year, we had a big wreck. And then, Monster, MonsterTrucket.com Season 1 was great here. So, it's pretty good. It's pretty good racetrack as the pace truck is back in and we're back green flag racing. Rob Shelley got a great job. He's right now out to a one truck length lead, but now Daniel Smith is trying to stop that. He's to the inside for second. Can he go for the lead though? Three wide, Jeff Smith on the bomb. That's for the race lead. Here comes 68 Nelly X and I6 pushing Daniel Smith. Daniel Smith now going for the race lead. He's underneath. Who will lead this lap? Will it be Rob Shelley on the outside or Daniel Smith on the inside? He has help from Nelly X and I6. Now Nelly X and I6 is going to ditch him and put Daniel Smith in the middle three wide. And now this for the race lead. Rob Shelley's going to get a great run on the high side. Clear Nelly X and I6. And look at the run. Daniel Smith gets through the middle. They're four wide behind. They are four wide along this racetrack. Look at this four wide. The 33 Matthew Vaughn backs out. But they're still four wide. They're still three wide. They are every wide here at this racetrack. Whoa. Three wide still. Daniel Smith on the high side with Hoover in the middle. Still no caution again. Which I'm pretty surprised about. Rob Shelley dominating this race. He has the dominant truck to beat. Can anyone beat him? Daniel Smith to the inside for the race lead. He has no help down there though, but will he be able to get there? Looks like Rob Shelley has a great run, but Daniel Smith is on the inside. There's a truck coming out pit road. They're going to have to be aware of Joe Rakowski. With, he has that, all that damage. No truck is giving an inch on this racetrack. Daniel Smith, one of, the, one of the people, I think he's the only person to take the lead away from Rob Shelley. Oh, we got trucks heading down pit road. They can't make it. Couple trucks down pit road, including the dominant truck of the day, Rob Shelley. He is into pit road, surprisingly. But, oh! We got battle for the lead. Now, X and I6 through the middle. Ginger Lewis on the inside. Now, X and I6 on the high side gets around to the lead. The question is can they make it on fuel? Because remember, Rob Shelley pit in. He's the dominant truck of the day. If I was the dominant truck of the day, I would stay out. But here they come. Some, some more trucks heading down pit road. And the 84 stays out. That is Nia Jolly. At the white flag, though. It's Austin Wood who gets around for the race lead. And Carlos Borges is 62. Where did Carlos come from? We haven't talked about Carlos all night. And now he's up at the front of the pack. He's trying to win his first ever race in one of the top three series. And here comes Daniel Coe trying to stop that. Everyone's going to have one more shot. Carlos Borges to the inside. Will any lap trucks hold him up? None will. But he's pitting. Austin Wood is going to score his victory. As Carlos Borges has gone down pit road, he did not have enough fuel. Austin Wood wins. What an amazing finish. Austin Wood in that six truck wins. Here you finish your results. Top 28. Wow. And the rest of your field.
eventually stops the wood on another fuel strategy uh, finish as a lot of trucks went down pit road here are your point standings and your top 20 points I will show you the full points this time so all the points now are gonna be here And the rest of your points. Oops. And the rest of your points. So next race will be the Indy 250 at Indianapolis. See you guys then. It should be a wild race. Bye.